Good XP grinder. This is Rick Gamer 75. Welcome back to Let's Play Minecraft MC Nostalgia. Might be wondering why is my pickaxe durability gone some lower? I did some mining in the Never because we're making a tunnel so I can get to the Never Fortress and back. I even went there, got some blaze powder, and we got some more Never Wards to make more potions. Hang on a minute. Sorry. Sorry about that. Pop that in, the glowstone and the nether warts as well. It's getting pretty full though. Anyway. Eat that. I'm not too sure what I'm going to do with this. I even went down there mining. For more stuff. I want to go back and do some decorations in Greenland. That's what I want to do this episode. This is going to be the last episode in 11W50A. So, yeah, before we change snapshots, I, I should go run around, load up important parts of my world, and then make a backup. Then I'll up the next snapshot. If the snapshot corrupts my world, then I just have to get MCA to copy all my the rest of my other world back in. I know I could go away to Greenland. Up here. Yeah, what's very unique about every Minecraft Let's Play is, you know, it's going to be different every time. You know, with everyone's Let's Play is different, you know? For example, Ethos is about building technical stuff. Kurt J. Max is about trying to reach the Far Lands. And then there's, you know... Um, Sistos, who, which is about crazy stuff. Well, other games like Mario, Zelda, Metroid, and that. Doesn't matter whose Let's Play you're watching, you're going to get the same experience every time. But Minecraft, it can go forever, and it's always different, you know? Got some zombie meat. Anyway, what else can we talk about since it's not so boring for you guys? There's rumours that a Nintendo Direct may happen later this month. And it's going to reveal some new characters for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Still don't know who can be added. We got like 68 characters, 3 being Echo Fighters, and the rest are just actual fighters. But Sakurai said that you shouldn't expect too many new fighters. I mean, he said he did say the same thing for like Melee, Brawl, and Smash 4 as well, and we got heaps of fighters. 
I don't know about how many new fires are going to be in this game. He even confirmed that when he first started the game up. Um, let me see the first. That when he first started the game up, only the original eight characters that were start of the N64 game, Mario, Donkey Kong, Link, Samus, Yoshi, Kirby, Fox and Pikachu are going to be available at the start and you have to unlock the rest. I mean, I think that's a good idea, you know, because Smash 4, you could not, for the free, yes, you have only like 12 unlockable characters and the Wii U version, you, you have like only 8. Just not much of a challenge. Although they have streamlined the conditions for unlocking the characters. But at the same time, imagine if you were, um, you first brought the game, you want to play it with your friends, and what happens is. You can't play as your favorite character because you have to unlock him or her. Hmm. Right now, he hasn't revealed exactly how they will be unlocked. Like if it's like a story mode or classic mode or adventure mode, I don't know. I don't think there's even going to be like a second subspace mystery. Because there was not enough to film in time. I think they might get an adventure mode similar to Molly. I think that's a better choice. And what I really want to see back in this new game is an offline tournament mode like in Molly and Brawl. Well, Smash 4, you can only do it online. And also what I didn't like about Smash 4's tournament is that all matches are set at the same time while Molly and Brawls, it's one at a time. Well, keep the Smash 4 one for online and Molly and Brawl for offline. And let's just say... Um... I want Break the Targets to actually come back and actually have individual stages for each character. It'll also be nice to see stuff like Race to the Finish and Board the Platforms come back. Because Board the Platforms has not been since Smash 64. It's very doubtful that will come back. Even though it's called Smash Bros. Ultimate. A lot of sugar canes in there. Some coal. Whoops. And... I'm not sure what order of characters you'll unlock. I mean, like, order of how they... when they first appeared. Or oh, I don't know. There's another cave down there. I better grab some coal. Or go down there. Torches. All I can say is I'm glad that there's no cut characters this time. And they brought all, and every character that was cut from Ali and Brawl are all back as well. But even though I'm happy that we've got all the characters back, I still think there should be a few new characters. I'm still curious to see what third party characters will be joining the game. 
Hmm. We've got to cut from the way out. A lot of people are complaining about Waluigi being a cis trophy. I mean, it would have been cool if he was an actual playable character, but unfortunately it's Sakurai's choice to decide what character should be playable and what character should be a cis trophies. Sun going down. Hmm. I can only sleep at night. It is night though. Come on, I want to go to sleep. There we go. That nail pole is really annoying. What other modes do I want added to Smash? I want to keep them to keep All Star, but instead of having the chronological order, I want it to have sort of characters by series. So this is like Brawl and Molly. So, question is, how many new characters do you reckon they'll be added? Hmm... I don't think there'll be as many as Smash 4. Because Smash 4 had like 21 new characters. Like, four of them being DLC. I'm expecting... probably... I mean, they've revealed... Three newcomers already. I think we might get around nine or ten more, I think. Or maybe five, I don't know. Or maybe we might only get two or one, I don't know. Well, there's another cave here. I think we might have already explored that. But I don't know. Cause we, even if your favorite character doesn't even get into Smash Bros. Ultimate, remember there's always DLC though. But at the same time, it's a bit of a nuisance because you'll have to pay to get a character. Well, if they're in the base game, you only have to unlock them. The game doesn't come out for like another four months. So there's plenty of time for more characters to be added. They'll just have to be revealed, actually. And we're back here. I need to keep filling this up. That will be our next objective to fill that up. Let me go and see if there's any dirt in the chest. Millie old bread. Way down to the cave. How 
man, that one hasn't fully grown yet. There we go. Well, this isn't Lone Zombie 48 a because they all would have come off again and had to kill all the dirt. Luckily, that was just a bug. Remember, these snapshots can be very unstable. So I have to make backs up of my world in case they get corrupted. And they can crash as well. Luckily, this snapshot here is pretty stable though. Pick up those. Now let's plant all these. Didn't mean to close that. Now the modes from Smash 4, like Smash 2 and Smash Run, a lot of people dislike Smash 2, so I don't think that's going to come back. I don't know if the stage builders returning from Smash 4 and Brawl. And I definitely want the event matches to return. As well as Home Run Stadium and Multi-Man Smash. Multi-man melee, it's the wireframes. Brawl, it's these robots, I forgot what they're called. The allies, I think. And Smash 4, it was me's. Who were it being ultimate? Hmm. Let's get some XP. Good XP grinder. Oh dear. That's a bit risky. I can do this all day. Gotcha. Nice try, you didn't blow up. Had enough of that. You know what? Got rid of that waste. Well, I think this is about it for this episode. Sorry if it was a boring run if it just discussion episode. This is Red Gamma Sunny 5 signing off. Thanks for watching. See you again in the next one. Peace out. Oh.